One of Roy's folks loved photography so much that he decided to take it to the next level by painting what he captured. And as Fox 8's Chad Tucker shows us, he taught himself how to do it. If, I, if I'm not painting, I'm thinking about painting. Rick Fulcher is proof. We all have a hidden talent. And I lost my job. I was living there in my home by myself, and I just decided I was going to try it. When he turned 50, yeah. he picked up a brush. No lessons I've learned as I've self-taught, as they say. And started creating these. It is just a corner of an old tobacco barn. Some so detailed, they almost look like photographs. That's the challenge for, for most artists. Is I do use a lot of reference material from my photography. I'm pretty good at photography, but yeah, this one is, uh, my passion is, is, is the painting. The red of the dirt and the green front and back are very complimentary. He blends his love of photography using the colors he captures. The barn was just in the field. As the inspiration for his paint. I took a picture of a cherry tree and added the mountains in the background and the stormy skies. Rural landscapes. I had never painted snow when I did this. And overlooked beauty, like this old Chevy truck in a drive-thru. You mentioned therapeutic. It's very therapeutic to me. He takes his time. It may take a month or two months for me to complete a painting getting lost in the detail. Yours is very detailed. Very detailed. That's a blessing and a curse. <laughs> I do get zoned in. I mean, there's times of the day, especially in the mornings, where you just feel like everything's going right. Rick's realistic brush strokes reveal we all really do have gifts just waiting there in the background of our lives. I really enjoy it, and it's very therapeutic for me. In King. I don't know what possessed me. Looking for Roy's folks. Went and got some things and started. Chad Tucker. Painting and I've loved it ever since. Fox A News. I follow the color wheel. <laughs> That's right. You can find Rick Fulcher online and on social media.